Hi folks, Brendan here from Advanced Radio and today we're going to take you through a quick video on how to get the most out of your new Smooth Flight or AR Extreme RRS when using a GD radio. For demonstration purposes we're using an REX7 uh, but you can use any EX bus receiver. We're only using one but you can use two in dual path mode and then a third receiver plugged into one of the E ports uh, one of the 900 megahertz, so that will give you a total of three receivers. Really, really easy to set up. What we'll do is we'll pan over to the screen here. This is our color touch screen display. It's used for programming as well as battery and telemetry feedback. We'll press in the middle, then we'll go down to system and receiver protocol. Now the button you're looking for is the one that says Jetty EX Bus. We've already set this uh, model up, so I'm not going to push it now, but if you push that, it'll set it to receive Jetty Bus. Come back out of there. Now if we can pan over to the radio, here we have the main menu. Uh, I'll go into model and I will go into down the bottom where it says device explorer. So this is the Rec 7 and the RC switch which we'll show you a little bit later. But if you're using two receivers, what you've got to do is go into advanced properties, wireless training, and then we've got it set to default. But if you're using dual receivers, you go to double path mode, okay? A couple of really, really cool features with Jetty is we give you full battery telemetry for both batteries in the Smooth Flight system. So you can see we've got B1, B2 voltage, B1, B2 milliamps, and B1, B2 current. And we also give you all of the receiver telemetry. So we are showing 99.5% good frames. These are the active frames that are coming in, that big number, and these are the dropped or fail-safe frames. So you can tell the quality of the connection between your radio and receiver when using the Smooth Flight. Just to pan back over to the Smooth Flight now, this is a 16-channel high-powered gyro expander where the gyro can be assigned to any and all 16 channels. It comes with a switch, comes with an LED, comes with all the cables that you require as well as this color touch screen. Uh, it is a high voltage system. We use the genuine AMAS XT30 connectors to give you dual battery redundancy. And obviously, I've pointed this out before, the dual receiver redundancy. Now, all of these features are exactly the same with our AR Extreme RRS. This is also a high powered unit. Um, each one of these ports is capable of up to 10 amps, which is enough to drive your servos, your electric retracts, or if you've got a lighting system like an ILSO3 lighting kit from Advanced Radio, it'll power that too. Today we're actually powering it with two of our AR Power 3200 Lions, and each one of these is using the nifty looking mounting plate that we've got there. Really simple to install. So, we have a whole host of videos coming out Oh, before I, before I go, one more thing. You might have noticed we've got an RC switch connected. So both the Smooth Flight and the Extreme RRS are completely compatible with the Jetty RC switch. If I flick the channel on my radio and I go yes, the system turns off. Flick the same switch, go yes. Just give it a second, the system turns on. So the Smooth Flight and the AR Extreme RRS are both fully compatible with Jetty and Jetty receivers. Thank you very much for watching guys. We'll have a whole host of videos coming out to show you how to get the most features out of your radio and your new Smooth Flight or RS Extreme system.